Okay, everybody, uh, welcome. I want to do a tutorial on the TSI Sidepack Model AM520. It's a very simple machine to use. It comes with an instruction guide and a quick start. So if you don't follow everything I'm doing now, you can go back to this uh, thing. There really is not much you could do to damage this, except this is the exit port. Let's see, can you see that? This is where air comes out. Air comes in here, comes out there. And you don't want to block that. It's actually hard to block because if you see, it's got some indentations there, so it's hard to block the flow. But try not to block that. If you do, the machine may actually shut down on you. So it's very uh, easy to work. It's pretty uh, intuitive. So here's the on off button. And you see the minute you start, it's making this uh, hum. And right away you see it starts taking a reading. 12 micrograms, 10 micrograms, 9 micrograms, 10, 7. So it really is, it seems like it's all over the place, but that's how dust is. Now, if you go here, you'll see there are different pages. And when you press that button, it goes to different uh, viewings. Notice the memory is 69% full. I'll reset it for you. You have 870 minutes of battery left. That's a long time. It's been calibrated, factory calibrated. And the important thing is if you want to record your numbers, you have to scroll down to this manual mode. So right now it's on the survey mode. If you want to record your data, you're going to have to go down to this and hit return. And now you are logging data. Too many students have turned it on and forgot to start logging the data. The time has been set on the computer, so it's perfectly at 6.11, yeah, more or less 6.11 p.m. right now, so that's synchronized. And you could see that it continues to tell you it's a logging data. Now, if you want to stop logging, you hit that button, and you can go back, or I believe uh, right here, yes, I'm sorry, the on-off button, and if you hit enter, which is this button, you now have stopped logging. So don't forget to start and stop the logging, otherwise you won't be able to download the equipment. Uh, the readings are pretty st standard for this, so you don't really need to do uh, much more. Let me go back to the survey mode. This is the survey mode, and you see it's spitting out data. It's taking a reading every few minutes. I'm sorry, every few seconds, and you could adjust that. Uh, notice we have the uh, the 2.5 orifice already attached, so you don't have to worry. It's measuring two, PM 2.5. Now, the other thing I want to show you is doing a... Um, let me just go back to the main screen. If you go to the pages, see those pages here? If you hit that once and you hit it again uh, and again it'll say calibration and at this point you want to go down to calibration hit return and it says zero calibration and the answer is yes so you hit return and now it says attach the zero filter in the box comes a zero filter here it is right here Make sure you attach it in the direction of the flow. Right, the flow is going this way into the machine. And when you're finished doing it, you hit enter again, which is the return key. And now it's going to take a 60 second sample, but this thing here is actually filtering the air 100% so that absolutely no particles are entering the machine. So it's pretty much sent setting the machine to zero all right so let's wait a couple of seconds here 39 seconds by the way as I do this uh, I will give you an extra battery you may want to charge that I think it's charged I'll give you a longer hose in case you want to put this in your knapsack and have the hose coming out the knapsack so you could sample uh, and not make uh, a scene of yourself in the subway uh, and I recommend you hiding it if you're going to be doing that kind of sampling. And uh, other things are a little tripod if you want to put it up somewhere. 
and of course a charger all right so here's the uh, the charger and the charger gets plugged into this port back here which I'll show in a second anyway it says zero calibration complete I take the uh, zero filter off I put it away I hit return oh I'm sorry I hit go back to the that and there we go and now we're back to run mode and we're back to where we started okay uh there may not be much of a difference because we calibrate this all the time we always set it to zero before you start your day off uh to download the data uh i'm going to turn this off by the way how do you um how do you turn it off well you just hold that on off button for a few seconds three two one and it's off so this unit has a little door you'll see it right here this uh let's see right here if you open that up you'll see there's a um, a mini usb port there see that mini usb uh this gets connected to your cord okay this is in the test kit this goes connected into a Windows computer. Remember, this is not uh, this does not work on a Mac. So you'll have to download the software, install it, and the machine has to be on when you connect the machine to the port. It should discover it automatically. Uh, there's a couple of tutorials online for you to do that. So there you go, the side pack, and there are a lot of YouTubes on how to use this. And, of course, you have the manual in the package. So please take care of it, and uh, good luck. Bye-bye.